a sign I'm late. I almost didn't make it here. There was a sign that said no turn on red, but it was at a flashing red light, and I had to time it. It took me about a half hour. A police officer tried to pull me over for not having a rear view mirror, but I didn't see him. Some of these are like joke grenades. You gotta tell them and then wait like eight seconds before you get them. Got my car fixed. Got the muffler on my car fixed, which is great, but now I can hear all this other shit. I was driving through a construction zone. There was a big sign that said speed limit, 35 ahead. And um, there was four of us. So um, we were through there in no time. Good thing I wasn't on a bus. I came into town on the bus. It's strange though, because ever since I was a little kid, my mom used to say, there's always one weirdo on every bus. I couldn't find him. I, um, I know what you're thinking, but I don't do drugs. I'm against drugs because of my mom used to do a lot of drugs before I was born. I get my sense of humor from my grandfather. I remember he was on his deathbed one time. He used to say weird stuff. He used to say, do you know why they call this part of a woman the waist? Because there was room for a couple more boobs. That's what he used to say. Yeah, I, um, are you gambling? Are you gambling tonight? I'm not good at gambling. I try counting cards. I keep getting 52. I saw a transvestite here in Vegas walk into a woman's bathroom. That takes balls. I, um, yeah. I'm not gay myself. I have one thing in common, though, with gay guys. We have the same amount of sex with women. So, um, yeah, they, they say if you were to take all the gay guys in Las Vegas and lay them end to end, that it wouldn't be the first time. But um, 1,600 out of 2,000 high school seniors in Vegas this year flunked their math exam. 1,600 out of 2,000. That's almost half. I saw a TV show on Discovery Channel called Locked Up Abroad. Yeah, who hasn't done that? I saw a TV commercial for an indestructible razor blade. Lifetime guarantee. The only razor you will ever need, they say. But order now and we'll send you another one. What do I need with another one? I saw one today for an Asian buckwheat pillow. That was stupid. Buckwheat wasn't Asian. How come you call a driver that gets in a lot of wrecks a reckless driver? Words are crazy. How come when your alarm goes off, you have to turn it off? How come some things burn up and other things burn down? It's like, hey mom, where's all those old pictures of grandma? Oh, they all burned up when the house burned down. <laughs> My doctor tells me I'm a kleptomaniac, so I've been taking a lot of stuff for it. <laughs> I had an appointment to see my psychic next week, but she called me up and told me I wouldn't be able to make it. <laughs> I would give my right arm to be ambidextrous. They say a person's car reflects their personality. I don't have a car. <laughs> is it normal that one of your testicles is bigger than the other two? Is that normal? That's got me worried. I came up with a great name for a country rapper, Kanye Twitty. <laughs> I took a correspondence course in mime. They sent me six blank tapes. <laughs> I love mail order stuff. I ordered this one thing, the history of mail fraud. I haven't got it yet. <laughs> My nephew spent the summer at memory camp to learn how to do better in school. I guess they couldn't call it concentration camp, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, too soon? Okay. I, uh, and finally, in my day, a selfie was something you did in the bathroom with the door lock. Okay, thank you very much for coming out and supporting the cause, everybody. See you soon. Good night. Get you guys.